can't. Hey guys, what's up? You guys, if you don't know, I'm super fucking famous. Like, crazy famous, actually, that, like, I need a disguise going through the Art Bruce drive through so I am disguising myself today as a less famous person, Nikki DeMartino. <laughs> JK. <laughs> JK! But I don't know. I actually have no idea. I got this blue wig because I, like, am on this e-girl trying. I'm really obsessed with e-girls. Uh, I'm not 32. You fucking not. How about that? How about that? How about you're 32? Um, and, yeah, I'm on this weird e-girl trend. And I'm like, yeah, me too. But also, if you watch my vlog channel, you know that I have that set. And also, I have this blue nails randomly. So, it kind of fit perfectly. We're trying these sweet potato fries. I'm so excited. They've been out for four days on Chewboom.com. And I have been waiting for Steph Pappas and all my mukbangers to try these new menu items. They have it. So, okay. Maybe a large one. Sweet potato fries. Oh, yeah. Oh, they have new floats. Um, yes. Oh my God, stop beeping. Stop beeping. Sorry, that's annoying. Can I get a large sweet potato fries? Like the uh, large sweet potato fries? Yeah, like the waffle ones, the new ones. Okay. Okay. If they don't have it, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Did I bring money? Oh, yeah. We're good. I legit didn't think I brought money for a second. I was like, oops. You just gotta prove you're not a loser anymore. Okay, waffle fries? Sorry. Is yes. What um, the sweet potato ones, right? Yes. Okay, and then can I also get an order of small mozzarella sticks? That's small mozzarella, anything else? And then can I get a root beer float? A root beer float? What size should I float? Um, like medium. Medium? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I have a large waffle fry, small mozzarella, and medium root beer. It's supposed to be $12.34. Thank you. I'm getting rid of this car. Oh my god, my car is blue. Should I take a cute picture? I literally got glam. Like, I kid you not. I was, like, vlogging today this morning. And I was like, I'm going to Arby's. And I, like, thought, like, I can only go get Arby's if I, like, do a video out of it. Because <laughs> this is, like, far. This is, like, literally, like, the closest Arby's to my house is literally 40 minutes. Like, it took me 40 minutes to get here. And I was like, yeah, that seems, that seems totally worth it on a Friday. Like, that's, like, what else do I have to do? Like, masturbate on only fans but hey that took about 10 minutes today knocked it out real quick so yeah also this is so nasty and people are gonna judge me like wow she's so freaking nasty everyone's always like she looks like she smells looks like her house smells blah, 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 blah. so that's gonna add to like trisha's nasty but like okay i okay i don't eat in bed i eat in bed like one time but like a month ago i don't eat in bed um and like i never really open my door like my sliding glass doors up in my bedroom um but I have ants in my bed. Like, they were just, I just saw them last night. And then, like, I looked over and I was sleeping by myself last night. And, like, um, like the white pillowcase was there. And I saw, like, ants on the white pillowcase. And they're totally ants. And I was like, are you sure they're not bed bugs? I'm like, no, they're not bed bugs. They're definitely ants. And I saw, like, crawling on my phone. I saw probably, like, 15 ants total. Like, I was, like, swapping them, swapping them. I mean, I, like, raided, like, the outer corners of my bed and, like, my window. But, like, they're on my sheets. I mean, I guess I could just wash my sheets that would probably be logical but like i literally can't i literally can't make my bed there are things that i realized i could do during quarantine my hair my makeup dishes trash i can't wipe floors and i can't freaking change sheets and clean toilets like i just don't like I, I can't like i buy the items to do it and then like it's like no this doesn't work for you and that's kind of where i'm at i want to check my tiktoks but that's so rude i want to see what amount of tiktoks i'm at because i was at 1.7 followers and i don't really look at followers i more look at um um, what do you call, like, views? <laughs> Me just not knowing. I'm so excited. So, yeah, these sweet potato waffle fries are kind of all the rage right now on Chewboom.com. I checked Chewboom.com. Not sponsored. It's not my website. Although, oh, they have Powerade. Oh, I kind of want to Powerade. Can I? Let me know. Okay, well, I'm going to do it anyways. But let me know if it's, like, rude and, like, you guys hate it if you're a fast food employee. If I, like, add something to my order at the window. Like, that's not rude, right? Like... I don't know. Hey, if you're working at a fat, like, let me be Jen. If you're working at a, <laughs> let me genuine with my clown makeup. If you're being, if you work at a fast food restaurant, like, chances are you probably don't love it. And I totally respect the people who do do work at fast food restaurants because, like, okay, I gotta go incognito again because I'm famous. Um, like, you're doing this job and you're nice and cool about it. You know, like, you always hear horror stories, like, people, like, spinning food or whatever. But, like, if you're here, you don't spend people's food, you're sweet, you're genuine. Like, that's, like, I, I applaud you. Like, I applaud, like, 
I don't want to like, <laughs> I was going to say if anyone can masturbate on OnlyFans and make money. I don't want to put down like what I'm doing, you know, because like, hey, I'm doing that, but also my pussy's online for the rest of my life. Like, yeah. And people are always going to make fun of it. And any guy I date is always going to get pictures of it. And in its most unflattering angle, if it's an unflattering angle, whatever. So like, yeah, that's kind of the trade off. So I respect people who do respectable hustles is what I'm saying. Cause like, yeah, I could, I should, I can, I can't. I used to work at food restaurants and I always get, I literally always got fired. Serving, I couldn't do. Retail is really bad because I'm, I'm really lazy and you can't be lazy during retail. Like if there's a, if there's a slow hour, you have to like be restocking even if you've already restocked or like doing, um, counting, counting merch or whatever. Okay, let's, let's just take care of this first. In my stupid car, I can't wait to trade this shit in. It's so annoying, I know, sorry everybody. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I usually have one in my car. I don't know where it went. Oh my God, it's so annoying. My car is beeping. Sorry. I like the blue look. Thank you. Oh my God, why is that beeping so you annoying? Sauce, no, I don't need any. Thank you so much. That's, oh my God, my mask is right here. Shit, sorry. Oh, it's gonna add. I found my mask. I'm not gonna add the blue power, that's so annoying. Oh my god, this is so annoying. My car is so loud. It's beeping so loud, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You too. I really wanted to get blue power to go with my blue look. That would have been the time to say it. Like, he's like, I like your blue look, and I'm like, Thank you. Um, can I have blue power? <laughs> and I didn't. I checked out. The car was annoying the crap out of me. Okay, I wanna go pull over and like eat this. But also, I'm not just saying this, this is like a really ghetto area. I'm in like the most ghetto area. Maybe I should just keep it moving. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going back through the drive through I'm so sorry. Okay. <gasps> I'm so going the wrong way all around. Oh my God, I suck. Oh my God, okay. I'm starving, that smells so good. I need to pull away from that. I, I had a mask. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Please don't judge me. It said walk-up services need a mask. I wasn't a walk-up. I was a drive-thru. Does that matter? Oh my god. I'm an asshole. I really am. Okay, like this thing can be canceled over. I get it. I get it. Like that was an asshole move and I had my mask literally in my cup holder. I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm, I, like I know you guys maybe think I'm being like dramatic about it, but like honestly, like that really does make me upset that I did that. I don't want to put other people at risk or them to... Like, you know, what's like the equivalent of like not wearing a condom like after I do an OnlyFans video, like wear a condom. It's like I'm getting tested, I'm like responsible, I get tested every two weeks. Well now I'm like trying to do every week because if I'm collabing like every week, I, I try and get tested in between collabs. I mean, granted, sometimes STDs don't show up for a couple days, so I, I just try and be as responsible as possible. Obviously, if you're collabing on OnlyFans and you're doing sexual things, you kind of know like you're at like a risk. But hopefully everyone's doing I only collab with people that are like and not being like snobby or anything like that, but like that kind of do this for a living too, so they kind of get it, and like, yeah. Okay, I really want to pull right in, and there's just no, and I really wanted to get blue power, that sounded so good. I'm just gonna have to stop by a gas station later and get it. That sounds, I don't know if it's because I'm wearing blue and I'm a freak and I just want to match myself, but. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. And I, this car, I'm so sorry, it sounds like a ticking time bomb. Like, what is this car? And I tried to turn off the sensors and it's still going. It's still freaking going. Maybe I need to face. I'm trying to think of the best. Mm -hmm. There's just so much happening. I try. I feel like every time I come to this Arby's, because this happened like a year ago when I came to this Arby's, like, okay, here's shade, but sometimes shade is not always the best. Yeah, like I'm actually like in the hood. There's just people just like walking around with no shirts on in the middle of the street, like screaming. Okay. Is this gonna be good or? I can't really see because I have. Is this. Oh, it, were you blurry? I hope you weren't blurry the whole time. Big yikes on that. Okay. Stop. Stop. Are we blurry? It's kind of like not the best lighting, huh? I don't know. Where did I put my glasses on top of my head? Um, okay. This is like kind of cute, I guess, right? Shade is not always the best. That is not always the best option. Oh, God. I really don't like this car. I know. I'm not complaining. I can't complain. Like, at least I have a car. I should be... I should be grateful. I am grateful, but I'm freaking hot. Mmm. I don't like this. I just did something like that. Here goes my Gucci's, my new ones. Great, love that. 
Speaking of risings. Um. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, if you like sweet potato fries, these are so good. It's like it's awful when we keep trying, but oh my god. I love curly fries at Arby's, so the fact that I didn't get curly fries really meant I had high standards for these, like high hopes for these salt potato fries, and they're, they don't disappoint. They're so good, and they're waffle fries. I'm gonna keep moving. This area is like sketchy in general. Mmm. On the long ass drive back home, so. I'll just drive and eat, I guess, but. I'm gonna. Um, okay. That's so good. I'm gonna try this root beer float. I should get a Powerade. Okay. I'll read root beer float. It's already kind of melted, but that's fine. It's actually really refreshing. I think because it's already melted, it tastes like root beer. So we're in the good, we're in the clear. Oh my God, those are so good, you guys. Wow. I love food. I love food so freaking much. I mean, you guys already know, I mean, Arby's mozzarella. Mm. I mean, they're not my Korean fried cheese, but I'm not being that crazy. Oh. Just straight up go to all these different locations for food. I mean, wood, but also not sick. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Arby's is like, I don't like any of their meat stuff. Like, I don't like their chicken fingers or anything, or their, I mean, obviously, they don't really eat sandwiches. But their sides are so good. Mmm. I honestly wish they would step up their chicken nugget game. Because the sides are so bomb. Okay, I'm just gonna keep, keep it moving. That, like, like, why wouldn't they try? Ow! That's some bashing Wendy's for their chicken nuggets. Why wouldn't they try and step it up? You know what I mean? Wow. They're really good. Mm hmm. <laughs> my hair is literally white. You know when I like something I'm like not discussing it so much? Is that a freeway up there? Yeah. Like, where am I? Dude, these are so good! Look how big this one is. That is so bomb. What? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm like not a huge sweet potato person. Not even sweet potato fries, but some places are really good. Lucille's Smokehouse has really good sweet potato fries. Oh, there's a high one time. Mm, oh. oh my god. This is so confusing. It looks like a freeway entrance, but it's not. It's a freeway exit, which has been really bad if I... I'm like on the weird side of Hollywood. Almost like not Hollywood. Oh man. Yeah, the fries. Mm hmm. And then two sets. So good. Mmm. Fried cheese might be my favorite food. Like, you just can't go wrong with fried cheese, you know? And they're just good. They're more like Italian tasting. The Korean fried cheese place I go to is more like sweet tasting, like more like a donut fried. I'm sorry to explain. It's like more like a fair. Sorry, I had to pull over and text. Always, oh, always pull over and text and always be sure to look before you pull back out into traffic like you're a crazy person. Um... 
I was saying how much I love Heather's, but what I forgot, neglected to mention, is one of my new song, favorite songs from Judge. So, I really like Dear Evan Hansen's cast recording. Never saw the show, so I'm like really like a fake fan, but like not really, because you can like anything you want. You can like anything you want when you're born in the United States and you're a human fucking being. <laughs> And um, this one called Disappear. It's like, no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to disappear. It's Mike Feist and Ben Platt. They are such a good duet team. Mike Feist is so hot. I really thought like, or he was big on Broadway, he did Newsies and obviously Dear Evan Hansen. But I really thought he just kind of like, disappeared and I was like oh good <laughs> no pun intended that song is called disappear that I was just singing because it's playing right here that's what I'm looking at I'm like oh, maybe he disappeared I can like be friends with him because he's like not as popping because he's like you know he was nominated for Tony but like not right now and then I looked him up and I'm like <laughs> he's literally one of the main characters in West Side Story the Steven Spielberg oh my god I kind of have a story kind of with that okay let me just go turn real quick yeah I kind of have a story with that. <laughs> so, the lead girl in West Side Story, the girl who's playing Maria, her name's Rachel Ziegler. Now, I already know she like hates me or just, not doesn't hate me, but just doesn't support what I do because we followed each other, we were cool, and then she unfollowed me, which is totally fine. You know who else unfollowed me? And it broke my, it broke my fucking heart. Truly. Alex Brightman. Okay, so I know Alex Brightman, and he's a huge Broadway star, but not only that, he played Beetlejuice in Beetlejuice the Musical. Um, he had followed me when I tweeted about it the first time. And I was like, next time you're here, come backstage. And obviously, he didn't get me backstage. Another cast member did, which I love him even more, Adam Danheiser. Um, and and Dave, David Joseph Berg, those, and Leslie Kreitzer, and Presley Ryan. They were all really cool to me. And actually, Carrie Butler was back there, but I never really talked to her that much. But those four were really, really nice to me. And not to say Alex Brightman's an asshole, and it's totally fine if like, people don't support what I do, because I get it. Like, I post a lot of, like, pornographic things on Twitter, and, like, even me, when I follow porn girls, like, I have to mute some of them, because I'm like, I don't need to see a pussy on my timeline every day. Like, I get it. So I'm not mad about it. I'm maybe assuming that's what happened with me and Rachel. But anyways, back to Rachel. I tell you, Alex Brightman unfollowing me kind of like made me lose a little love for Beetlejuice. And like, it's totally fine. Like, it's fine. I understand it. But I was like, damn. He got a lot of hate. He tweeted one of my Beetlejuice videos. And, um, I hate when people just like stare at me, like, pass me, bitch. And then he got a lot of hate. Like, don't support her. Don't support, you know. It's fine. But I know people got like scared. And that's just part of who I am and my reputation. And that's okay. That's, you know, whatever. Can't change it. But Rachel Ziegler, Ziegler, um, I had found her videos, like, on YouTube, singing videos of, like, Hamilton and stuff, way, way, way before she got casted, anything, I was like, this girl is so bomb, and she wasn't getting that many views, I didn't even know how many views she had some, maybe her, like, she'd get, 10 to like 30,000 which is a lot it's good it's, I mean that's basically what I'm getting now but ugh. I wasn't like she was a massive one thing and I was like why is this girl not more popular and um, bitch goes and gets the freaking lead as an unknown in West Side Story with Ainsel Egger and Mike Feist apparently and Steven Spielberg like how the hell and I was so happy and proud I was like because I supported that girl and like we tweeted back and forth and again I get it. Not everybody wants to be associated with like porn. And that's an, that's the other drawback. I always talk about how great OnlyFans is and it is. Like it changed my fucking life and I love it. And like this is like my dream job. But you will get people. I will straight up judge you for it. I won't want to be associated with you. And you'll lose opportunities for sure. So yeah, you make a lot of money but is it worth it in the long run? Like to be honest, and I don't mean this as like self-deprecating. But if I had talent, like, good enough for Broadway, I don't think I'd be doing porn. You know what I mean? Or a singing career where I could be like, on American Idol. And I also do believe, like, I was listening to the Views podcast the other day, and they had said something like, 19's too young. Like, you should be, like, at least, I don't know if they said 25, but you should definitely be, like, older. Like, 19's just too young. Because I think, 
And look, young girls do better probably in porn in general. Like, obviously, people know who I am, so I think that's why I do pretty well on OnlyFans, which is important because, like, young, a lot of young girls do good. But I just don't believe in it. Like, you just have so much, like, opportunity when you're young, you know? And I feel like, not that my opportunity passed, but my window now to do, like, this kind of stuff, like, it happened, it came about. I'm I'm doing really well with it, and I'm kind of, like, writing it. And I was like, it's, this is, like, a now or never moment. And, like, let's face it, like, I'm not going to be in a Steven Spielberg West Side Story. I'm not going to be a Disney princess singing voice. You know what I mean? It is an already based on my reputation. So, it's not like, <laughs> like, I've already ruined my reputation. So, let's fuck it up some more, you know? But, yeah, there are some people that are too young to be doing it. I don't mean that condescending. I know it's, like, so annoying when, like, old people say that. I was always hated it, too. Oh, you're so young. Thank you for the compliment. But, yeah, bitch, I'm young. I'm popping. I honestly think that's why um, Tana doesn't do full blown porn. Like, she hasn't only fans. I, I subscribe for like a minute. Like, post whatever you want, but I was spending like 50 bucks on like just her side boob. And I was like, all right, girl, we post that on, we post more than on like on Instagram but it's totally cool I'm sure she's making more bank than me like it's totally cool but I do think she's like kind of too young I mean like I said that's probably why she's not showing like full on kitty porn and all that but I don't know man but maybe that's your calling have you I think you're watching was it Lana Rose on Impulsive I think she said she knew she was gonna do porn at 13 or like at a young age she knew she was gonna be a porn star I guess if you know, you know. But I took all of I took all those down. Mm. I'm not giving advice, but if you're looking for it, I'm not giving unsolicited advice, but if you're asking for it, if you're very young, don't do only fans. That's my advice. Especially if you want to be a teacher, if you're going to school for other things, don't do it. If it's what you want to be known as, you're like, let's say, okay, right? When I was doing Patreon, people like labeled me as a porn star back then and I wasn't even doing porn. So just be like aware you will have that, oh, she was a porn star label for the rest of your life. Think about that. If, you, if you're okay with that, like, more power to you, but you're not going to be a, a school teacher, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do it. Mm. But I um I eat all my cheese sticks. I'm I'm a I'm a big girl. I am a full meal. I didn't get my blue power right and there's a seven eleven there, but it's just too much. Like if you have to make left turns into things you're like, oh I'm good, bro. I mean, it would look cute though for a spot. Oh, you know, like in a blue bikini for OnlyFans. Oh. Should I do it? Is it gonna be like if it's easy, I'll do it. If not, I'm a model online. Huh? If it's easy, I mean, what? It's easy. I have to pull in. Cause you know what? I I've been talking about for blue powerade, and now I want blue powerade, and I'm gonna ask in my mind. I need to get it, and there's no stopping that bitch. There's just none. And I have a mask, I'm gonna be responsible. I'm gonna go get some blue power aid. Okay, did I wear a face mask? Mm, yes. Did I ruin my makeup? Mm, yes. Um, did I get blue power aid? Mm, yes. Did I get other candy just to match my aesthetic? Mm, yes. Did I get sexually grass? Mm, yes. Is that okay? Mm, no. But now we have a cute picture for OnlyFans and for Instagram. And that's all that matters. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I need to go. I need to peace out of here. There is a this. I'm in a nice neighborhood. Which just goes to show creepers everywhere. I don't want to drink too much because I want it to be part of my aesthetic. You know, for my picture. <clears throat> Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this eating show. Arby's Waffle, Sweet Potato Fries, you were really bomb and worth the drive. Go to 40 minutes to your local Arby's and get it. Bye!